Today we're experiencing gear, we shoot out a whole bunch of Ernie Ball bass strings. So now that I have done the guitar strings from Ernie Ball, I have done the acoustic guitar strings from Ernie Ball, now what is left are the bass strings. So I thought we would shoot out some bass strings, including some flat wound, some coated, some cobalt. Yeah. It's a lot of strings. Having recently done the acoustic strings from Ernie Ball, that left only one series to do, and that is the bass strings. And I mean, I wasn't entirely wrong. I mean, I, there was like four, I thought, maybe. Apparently there is like six, seven, seven-ish, six, seven-ish. But we are going to shoot them all out using this fantabulous 2018 Music Man Stingray, which has been graciously loaned to me for Murdy Ball. It might get lost in the mail, guys. So let's go over what we're going to shoot out. First, we are going to shoot out some flat wounds, some group two custom gauge flat wounds. Oh yeah, I'm throwing strings again. Uh, next, we are going to shoot out some stainless steel regular slinkies. Next, we are going to shoot out some slinky flat wounds. Next, we are going to shoot out some Ernie Ball coated regular slinkies. Really curious to see what those sound like. Uh, next, we're going to shoot out some short scale. Uh, I don't have a short scale base, so I am not shooting these out. I don't know why these are even in this pile, but there are some short scale base strings available as well. That's super cool. I need to get a, a Mustang base. A slinky cobalt set, which is pretty cool too. And we're going to actually start this whole thing as a control with a good old fashioned set of regular slinky base strings. For this test, I will play just a simple little riff. I'm not gonna go too noodly because that would lose definition within you're know, trying to hear the strings if I'm just doing a whittly whittly thing because I can totally do Getty Lee licks. I can, really, I just, I choose not to. But I'm gonna play the riff and it's gonna repeat just like the last ones did. I'm gonna do a, uh, a bass amp, this time a, a Galen Kruger a Universal Audio Amp sim straight, I'm plugging straight into my uh, Universal Audio Apollo 8 interface, and then we're gonna circle back around and we're just gonna listen to the DI tracks. Let's do it. You know, overall, I 
I actually liked the sound of the flat wounds. Uh, not the most. I think, I think overall, I'm looking at the strings on the floor. Um, overall, I would say regular slinkies or the cobalts for me personally, uh, but they all sound pretty great. I was actually surprised at how much definition the flat wounds had versus the regular wound strings. I'm not that well versed and familiar with flat wound, so it was kind of a nice experience to get to actually just play with some and check them out. And it's weird not having the string noise. I don't know, It's that is pretty cool. I could definitely see other uses in like heavy music, maybe, possibly. I don't know. That does it for me. Hope you enjoyed the shootout. All the pickable links down below. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.